Hello everyone and welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge Extreme Edition. In the last episode, guys, we ran around and we impregnated some people at the park. I hope, I don't know if we actually impregnated anyone, but we definitely tried for a baby. So, what we gotta do now is we gotta look at our family tree and see which babies are new. I think they kinda go in a little bit of an order, so it shouldn't be too bad. Let's check it out. Bo's genealogy, a lot of weird shit going on here. A lot of weird shit. So all the way over here, guys, we have, hmm. Hmm. Uh, none of these babies are the babies I tried to make. The people I banged, guys, were Erica Taneka, Lunacy Fringe, and Death Reaper. I mean, we could actually go visit Death if we wanted. You know, maybe, maybe she'll have a baby or something, but I feel like that's not gonna happen. I feel like it just, it, it just we didn't get any more babies, which is kind of lame. Okay, I waited enough time. There should be some babies here. If that was a total waste of time, I'm gonna be so sad. See, look, if you go over here, I'll, oh, oh. Hadley Fringe, and Arlene Reaper. Oh snap, we got two new kids, guys. I thought we were done for. I didn't realize, yeah, these are gonna be, they're gonna be babies. They're not gonna be toddlers, duh. So yeah, all right, so we got we got two children to go take a look at now. Uh, I guess Miss Taneka didn't get pregnant, that's sad. Sorry, Miss Taneka, better luck next time, I suppose. Um, so let's go, let's go visit them, look at this. Hadley and Arlene. Yeah, I guess I could have checked the relationships. It was probably there, was it? Ah, it's, it's, uh, I was not looking for babies in the relationships. <laughs> okay, Hadley Fringe. Well, I can't invite you over because you're a baby and you can't go anywhere. But I could, I could come to you. Okay, so I will, I will come visit you. And then uh, I don't know what am I gonna do then? I guess I gotta age the baby up and take a look at it as a little, a little toddler, and then we'll go from there. One thing, guys, before we get started on this video and start doing some crazy stuff, I want to let you know that I want to do like some celebrity impregnations before the series is over. So don't, what I want you to do, is I want you to go down below in the comments and let me know who you want to see me knock up in this game, okay? It can be anyone at all. I mean, I can think of a few at the top of my head that you guys would be cool with, probably, um, you know? So just, just go ahead and leave your suggestion and give a like on the suggestion that you like and it might be the person that I impregnate in my next video. All right, let's go visit these two children. I know where death lives. And I think I know where Lunacy lives as well. I think there might even be two Lunacies, which gets a little bit complicated, but yeah, I think I might have screwed something up at some point. Anyway, let's go to, I think it's Willow Creek. Yep. And let's go visit, nope, not Handsome Squidward. The Shingle Bottom household. Okay, that's where Death and Matt live. There's not even any Jeremy there anymore, so it's not really the Shingle Bottom household anymore. It's just the Shea household. Well, the sh Sheeper? The Sheeper household. Yeah, that. <laughs> Hello. It's me. Oh, look at that giant baby up there. That is not my baby. That is a fake baby. How dare you, baby? <laughs> okay. Oh, we gotta go knock on the door first. Oh, I want to find it where the baby is actually kept. You should be able to see in, see in there, right? Hello, baby. Where are you, baby? Probably in one of the bedrooms, maybe. Hmm. Oh, there's a bassinet in there, and there's no child in it. Damn it! What is going on here? Death, get out here with your baby right now. Arlene. Where are you, Arlene? Oh, nobody's home. What do you mean nobody's home? They have a baby to look after. Where the fuck is the baby at? Okay, I'll wait here. Hey, Bo, can I join the baby makers? No, you can't join the baby makers, Angelo. You're a dude. Huh. I hate the ignorance of some people in this game, guys. Angelo just really wants to be my friend, and I appreciate that. I think he's a great guy, but he can't have children. Let me know if you guys do want to see an episode where I impregnate a bunch of dudes. It might happen. Hey, look who's home! It's Matt Shea! Dr. Matt, how you doing, buddy? Uh, listen. Um, now that you're home, can you let me in? Knock, knock. Oh, I hear a baby now, too! Oh, that's just great! Wah, 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 let me, uh, hmm, uh, oh! Oh, okay. So the reason, the reason there was no baby at home is because Matt went to work. I don't know where Death is. I guess she's still at the park recovering from all the banging we did. But uh, yeah, Matt seems to be taking care of this thing. Hey Arlene, how you doing? It's it's Papa. Oh, you're crying. You know what makes babies stop crying? When you when you turn them into toddlers. So hop on out of here, you. Whoa, look at that. Oh, what is that baby doing? Wearing glasses and oh Jesus, dude. Okay. Um. Nice to meet you, I guess. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave again, probably. Uh, let me see if you can walk first, because apparently that's the number one thing you gotta do when you get a toddler. Hey, can you, yeah, good job standing up there, kid. You're not falling over at all. All right then, what's this? Hug, no, yeah, okay, you can get, you get one hug, just one. 
What are you doing? Why are you? Come on. Don't you know how hugs work? You have to actually do the hug. Why is it what all? What it was? Why? Why do the kids just look at me like they hate me? <laughs> it's not my fault. I just can't stop impregnating people. It's happening. I think it might be. Ha don't oh, smell me, Matt. Sweet. God, you work at a hospital. I'm sure there's lots of smells there. There we go. Look, I hugged my child. It's time for me to never see it again. Goodbye. Okie dokie. So now let's go to. I think. I think Lunacy is at Oasis Springs with the dinosaurs. Hello, Lunacy. Mm-hmm. There she is. There's double Lunacies here, guys. Don't ask me how that happened. I don't have a clue. Okay. Weird things happen in my series. I don't really remember there being cloning. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Look, look what I did to this place. It does not look right with all that grass in the middle of a desert. Trees around. Nice little wedding ceremony in the back. What are you... Hey, you better be careful, dude. Quinn, don't you dare get killed by that thing. Hmm. Okay, he's doing fine. He got it. It's all right. I just need to come look at the baby, and, and I'll leave again. Apparently, the door I have to knock on is the back door. Hmm. That's all right, then. I'll do it. No, it's not even the back door. It's the it's this thing. What's in the basement? Oh, this is where we put Kyle. Yeah, this series got kind of weird, didn't it? Hmm. All right, then. Well, uh, show me the baby. There it is. It's Hadley. What up, Hadley? I'm coming over. I don't want to talk to the weird bald guy. Hey, wait a minute. Where's your Where's your Jingle Bottom outfit, dude? What's that up? I gotta I gotta talk to you now. I need to I need to ask you if I can see the outfit because I'm pretty sure this guy has a Jeremy Jingle Bottom outfit. Hello. How? Ooh. Okay. Listen, it's kind of weird here. I don't even know which one of you did I impregnate. That one, I think. Unless I have the same relationship with this one. No, I don't even know this one. <laughs> Are you in the woohooers too? No, you're not. God, this is so weird. Okay. Hey, buddy. Listen, I just wanted to see some things. Can I see your... I don't know. I don't know what you put it on. Formal? Is it a formal outfit? Okay, that's not it. What about party? Do you party in the Jingle Bottom? I don't know what's going on here. You know what, Kyle? Screw you. I don't like the fact that you don't have your Jingle Bottom outfit on and that there is no Jingle Bottom outfit or whatever. So I'm just gonna go age this child up and leave. Okay, I got big plans today. Alright, this episode is gonna be out of this world! Just like my puns! Whoa! Yeah, look at that. Look at that child. Look at that child over here. How you doing, Hadley? That's a great name you got there. Are you a boy? Okay, no, that's not a boy. I was gonna say, hey, isn't isn't Hadley like a girl's name? That's a girl. It doesn't look. They're they're toddlers. They can do what they want. Okay, they don't conform to our gender stereotypes, and you don't have to either. Okay, you do you. Goodbye, guys. I'm done. Today, guys, we are gonna go to Sixum. Six Sam, whatever, it's Maxis spelt backwards and it's the alien planet because, I mean, we've done this series and I've been a little bit speciesist, I guess you could say. You know, I haven't had any alien babies, so that's, um, I mean, I am part alien myself. I feel like I need to go back to my roots and then have sex with them. I mean, not really, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bang like my relatives or anything. So, we need a wormhole generator, guys, and for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and cheat one in. Oh, come on, where is it? Worm hole. There you go, the Electroflux Wormhole Generator. And this is a career award that I haven't gotten, guys, but uh, I'm treating myself to it anyway. Let's go with black. Oh, baby, look at that thing. All right, where are we going to put it? Let's put it over here by the observatory. Good place for it. I mean, you know, look at some aliens and then go visit them or something. All right, so how do we do this? Hmm, test alien environment, attempt alien contact, calibrate, put in invent- put in inventory? That seems like a big thing to put in your inventory! Let's try to contact some aliens, okay? I don't have the aliens number, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Here we go. Whoa, okay. This look- it looks like you might have actually contacted the aliens. Hmm. Luckily, the aliens won't know what a, a human- a, like a good-smelling human is, so... <laughs> Oh, what happened? What what's going on, dude? Did you not contact the aliens? You just you just need to shower so bad that that you need to go do it right now. We'll get the alien contact after. Perhaps it'd be better if I calibrated it first. Okay? Okay, it's been calibrated and now some guy named Thiago wants to funnily introduce you or something. Maybe you want to introduce yourself to him. It's not happening either way. Okay? It's been calibrated. Let's test the alien environment and then let's get in that portal. I guess. Well, how is it? How does that look? Is it looking good? Let's go. Let's go. Let's attempt that contact again. We got this dude. Go in. Get in there. Oh, 
Oh my god! I thought I would go through there, but I just pulled an alien out of the void, guys! Oh, my very own alien baby maker! How you doing, baby? What's up, girl? How you doing, Cleo Bollinger? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cheerfully introduce myself. How you doing, baby? How you doing? Oh, she sounds so hot. Listen, listen, what's up? How you doing? You know what we should do? I'll tell you what we should do. I got this crazy idea. Cra crazy, craziest idea. Cleo, join my club, okay? You're in my club now. And guess what? We're having a club gathering. Just so happens that it's club time. <laughs> All right, I think that's enough. I think we've done what we need to do. She's got major bosoms on her, doesn't she? I mean, I don't know if it's the alien outfit she's got on, but those things are just big old bags of sand. That was a reference that you may not get, and that's okay. All right, big boob lady, let's try for a baby, huh? Let's use a bed, okay? I don't know if aliens have beds. Let me introduce you to a human bed. This stuff is crazy, man. This is where the love happens. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, she's down. Doorball, or whatever the hell you just said. It's all good, it's all good, okay? I'm sorry for mispronouncing your language, but that's, you know, I do they, I guess they just speak Simlish, do they? I mean, they don't have their own alien version of Simlish. Maybe. Look at how excited she is, guys. She is, she is utterly bouncing over here. She really wants to make some babies. Oh, she put on her nightwear, guys. Oh, I'm so turned on right now. Oh, God, oh, hold me back. Hold me back. Let's get it on. Now, the question is, guys, is she actually an attractive human? I don't really know. I guess what we'll have to do is we'll have to ask her if she'll show us her human form. I think that's, a, is that a thing you can do? I mean, you can ask people to show you their like underwear and stuff. If you can friendlily ask that to people, I'm sure you can say, hey, I wanna see your disguise. But we'll see. We're not even done banging the first time yet. Your recent amorous activity has revealed that Cleo is an alien. Oh my God. <laughs> Didn't realize she was an alien until I tried to put it in her guys, and I was like, wait a minute, this is not human vagina. Now, I, I don't know how this works. I guess she'll stay here because of the fact that it's a club gathering, so that's cool. Listen, Cleo, if you want to hang around for a bit, uh, you can. I'll, I'll watch you maybe get pregnant or something. I just want to grab a quick bite to eat, then I'll come take a nap with you, and then once you wake up, I'll ask to see your, um, your private human parts. All right, look, I think that's long enough. I'm feeling pretty good. Listen, you need to wake up, and I need to see you, okay? Get up. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I know you're hungry. Yeah, you, your baby's probably hungry too, if, if you're pregnant. I hope you're pregnant. Hey, is it okay if I ask to see your, uh, hmm, how does this work? What do you swim in? Oh, she swims in that, eh? Looks pretty good, looks pretty good. Anything else I can see over here? Can I see your athletic wear? What do you, whoa, girl. I didn't know aliens farted. You got some nice okay. outfits, man. You got some pretty sweet get-ups. I like it. Now, is there anything else I can do? Uh, hmm. I was really hoping I could see your disguise. There's a secret handshake here, debate existence of vampires. Look, anything is possible. So obviously, guys, I need to know what this lady looks like in her human form. And if I if I get her pregnant, what's gonna happen if she runs back to Sixum? You know, I, how am I gonna get her baby? I don't, I don't know where she lives. I don't even know if she has a house. So, I mean, maybe the aliens live under rocks. I don't really know. So I'm gonna say, hey, do you wanna move in with me for a bit? Just for a bit, I'll kick you out later once you have some babies for me. What's up, girl? Come on. I think the problem is we're not friends. How lame is that? You Really, do I have to become friends with you just to yeah. get you to move in with me? God, well, at least, at least we're pretty cool with each other. You wanna do a secret handshake? The dish. The dish, yeah, okay. Oh, 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 ah, oh. jeez, if I didn't know any better, I'd say that's how aliens made babies. Oh my god, what the, oh shit, guys, another baby was born. I thought I gave myself plenty of time to have these babies get born, but I guess not, because now we have a Brandy Tanaka, and we have to go find that baby. But look, I'm trying to become friends with Cleo. It's, uh, it's going okay, but it just takes a while, and I'm an impatient person, okay? It's so easy to get your relationship up in the, in the pink all the way, but, mm. When it comes to being friends with people, you actually gotta put in some effort. Whoa. Oh my! 
I just realized this 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 alien is starting to get a little bit preggers, guys. Look at that. Look at the little belly on her. It's gonna make her boobs even bigger. All right, guys, it's finally an option asked to move in. Let's see if she'll say yes. I don't think she's gonna. Hey, wait. Wait for me. What the hell was that? Stop. All right. You're not in the world right now. That's so sad, Cleo. But hey, guess what? Now you are. All right. So now when it comes to you having. What if I impregnated her a whole bunch of times and then got her to move in with all the babies and then took care of them that way? That, that could work. That could seriously work. I just got to invite her over after she's done having the baby and then put another one in her and so on and so forth. Hmm, but I really got to see what she looks like, guys. So I, I think I'll have to do that with another one. Okay, oh, wrong thing. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. And sell all your furnishings that you don't have. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't do that. Go! All right, we're back, guys. And now we can control Cleo. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's take a look at her. She's a slob. She hates children. <laughs> She's a dance machine and a quick learner. That's uh, You got some good things going on here. You got a bowl of cereal in your inventory. That's sweet. Oh, how did I switch? Space bar. Ah, good. You're trying to be funny and trying to write. Okay, that's cool. You don't have a career, and I think I think we need to disguise ourselves. What is it gonna be, guys? I'm so excited. What's she gonna look like, man? What's this alien gonna look like? Oh man! Most intense moment of my life! Whoa! Okay. Cool. Good enough. Wait, what's it? Just very green eyes. Alright, sweet. And you're still pregnant, of course. And our baby is gonna come out looking. Like an alien. I don't know. We'll wait and see. Yeah, it's cool. It's great. Like, what? welcome welcome to my house. If I didn't like the way you looked, I could actually just change you. But I, I'm fine. And hey, look at this sexy piece of ass going down the road over here. Woo! Man, I've already gotten a, pre um, I've already gotten a baby with you, McSexy Nugget. Okay? I gotta move on. So now, guys, I'm just gonna speed up time until the baby is made. I love this super speed thing. It mostly works. You know, sometimes it gives problems, but I mean, it's been treating me pretty well. Bo is supposed to go to work or something. No, no, I don't want to talk to you. Oh, man, are you still morning sick? Get over it. Come on. All right, guys, it's time to have another baby. Let's check it out. Let's see what this baby is gonna look like. What does an alien toddler look like? I don't even think I've seen one of those. Hmm. Here she goes. She's having baby. Good luck with having baby. What? Huh? Oh, hurts. Uh, hurts? Uh, Sorry about that. Uh, 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 oh, okay. It's over. Randomized name. Boom. I'm not gonna bother naming it like Baby 50 something because I don't even know what baby we're at now, guys. There's a whole bunch of them, okay? Just, just deal with it. And now, pop that baby out. <laughs> Boom! Look at that alien baby. Oh, shit. So green! Wow! Alright, listen here, alien baby. Um, your father wants to give me a kiss. Just let that happen. And then we'll move on to the other- Oh, Jesus, you're doing so bad. Told you, man, this whole speed up thing is not going so well. Hey, listen, go to bed before bad things happen. Don't worry about the baby. It'll take care of itself. Here we go, baby! Whoa! Ah! Oh, wear some clothes, baby! <laughs> Good job, Lara. You're gonna be a wild child. <laughs> ah! Oh, it looks bigger. Why does it look so big? Baby, why are you so big looking? Ah, I think maybe it's just a normal sized baby. It's hard to tell, man, when the baby's bald and naked. God. All right, this is great. This was a good time. I think I'm gonna put you up for adoption now. Jesse sent Lara a gift. Ashes sent Lara a gift. Ace sent Lara a gift. Darius sent Lara a gift. Larry sent Lara a Arlen sent Lara a twelve sent Lara. Ah, so many gifts. Thank you. All right. Well, look. You gave me twenty thousand dollars when you moved in, which is pretty great. That's a good way to um to make money. Hmm. Even we could even do like a gold digger challenge. Get to X amount of dollars by never working a day in your life by just marrying people and then killing them. You don't even need to make them rich. You can just you know, just bring them into your house. And then they take their $20,000 with them. Especially if they're not in the world, you know. So, anyway, uh, let's get rid of these people. All right, so, Cleo and Lara. Good good times, guys. Thank you so much. Wait a minute. Guys, I'm pretty sure they just got 20000 bucks for free right here. So, what if I took them and put them back in my house again? Would I just make money magically? Yeah, now we have seventy five grand, guys. And now I can actually take them back out again. And they will get another $20,000. Wow, I don't need this money. But that's pretty weird. Okay, great. Well, they're not in the world anymore. I think I can still maybe invite them over if I want. 
Who knows? Doesn't matter. I gotta go find more alien women. Okay, I wanna go to Sixum. That was my plan, but she came to me. Hey, buddy, how you doing? All alone? No, okay, baby, get out of here. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here anymore. Hey, get out of my house. You're not even... You don't even live here anymore. I gotta end this gathering. That's what I gotta do. It's time to leave, Cleo. In fact, you're not even in the club anymore, okay? I'm trying so hard right now to attempt alien contact, and I don't think they want anything to do with me. I think they're kind of offended by the way I used the last alien that came here for baby making and then kicked her out and told her I never wanted to see her again. Look, I'm not saying I won't see her again, okay? I might invite her back for more baby making yet. Jeez. All right, well, God, I'm sorry I offended you. Guys, this isn't working, okay? Now, there are other things we can do, but they're going to take some time, all right? So I'm thinking maybe in a future episode we could figure it out. If you uh, if you get an alien spaceship and put an alien thingamabob in it, you can go to the, pl to the planet. And there's also, if you go through the uh, scientist's career, you can find an alien party lot where there's just aliens partying. I don't know if they have a bed there or not. I'm hoping that they do. So there are definitely some ideas. Sorry there's only one baby maid here. And Jesus, what a mess. Where is my maid? I hired a maid, but he doesn't come that much, apparently. I already have a scheduled maid. Do I really need to hire another one? Thanks for hiring... From Maids United, your maid will arrive on Wednesday at 11.15. Oh, that's now! Sweet! Well, I don't know what happened, guys. It was a scheduled maid, so it was supposed to be a recurring thing. And he did come back, but, like, only once? It's 11.15. Where the hell is the maid at? Maid! Oh, God. This is the worst maid service I've ever... Oh, hey, there he is! Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing first? You gonna go clean that toilet over there? Yeah? Sweet! He flushed it. Wow. Good maid. All right, thanks, maid. Uh, what's your name? Neelesh Kumar. Now listen, if you were a woman, I would totally put a baby in you, like, right now, but you're not, so, yeah. Yeah, like I said, guys, sorry there's only one baby in this episode, but in the next episode, we are going to have more babies. Lots of babies, okay, because like I said, write down your suggestions or who I should, who I should get with, okay? There's all kinds of celebrity sims in the gallery, so leave your suggestions down below and hit the like button on the ones that you like and hit the like button on this video. Thank you guys so much for watching! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.